I cannot figure out a way to say it. So I'm just going to say this. Um, I found this out three times. Anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, I just noticed that only about 8.3% of you who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you are the 91.7%, if you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe. It doesn't hurt, and I very much appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Um, Love you guys. See you in a sec. Okay, so back to the episode. Love you. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to, well, welcome to, uh, the new order, a new millennium. Um, a new, not some mod for Hearts Fire 4, but based off of TNO, and we're going to start playing it today. It's a new game, new game. I don't know why you does enough buttons, uh, you can really click, but that's fine. From Germania to Beijing, the world eagerly listens to the clocks announced the beginning of a new millennium. Millennia. With their victory in the Second World War, the Axis powers soon experience an internal conflict. As it becomes clear that the clear that the new world order was not set in stone, the superpowers of Germany and America find themselves in a new world, emerging nations on the rise. The old battle between the ideology shifting into another, and more, and much more around uh, different, much in a much more different round. Okay, um, anarchy. We're not gonna play as anarchy. We're gonna play as Albert Friedrich Speer. Sadly, we can't play as the, the OFN, but that's fine. Oh, that's kind of interesting how you can see the nations there. Anyway, that's a bit odd. Um, anyway, like Resurrected Phoenix, Germany has reemerged as the world power in the years following destructive time of the German Civil War. So, building a new definition of National Socialism and carrying out the reforms uh, in Germany, in, in the German in the, in National Socialism and carrying out the reforms in the German economy, such as the abolition of slavery, Germany climbed the ladder all the way to, uh, all the way up, not th not through military means, as in the 1940s. Right through economic competition, clever political moves, and pragmatism that allowed to, to prosper despite considerable amount of hindrances and obstacles along the way. In 2000, Germany's situation never be, been better. Will she be able to maintain in a world that continues to change? However, is not is another question. Well, let's get started here. Um, we got Albert Speer. Um, this is a love. This little way it looks. Um, I love that. Beautiful. We're gonna click start now. Bergen still exists, which is interesting. I guess we have defeated it? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, what I do know is, though, I'm very excited to play this mod. Um, the world of... The map of Europe hasn't much changed, unfortunately, looks like. But, um, let's see who controls the world, I guess. Um, they put this mod together very, very quickly. Not very, very quickly, but, you know, it was built off of TNO, of course. But I have to give them credit for how fast they made the mod. Um, continue... Um, oh, I love that. That is absolutely beautiful up there. Um, um, the, gross, the, 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 the Greater Germanic Reich. In the past century, Germany has experienced incredible change, power and weakness, peace and catastrophic bloodshed. Out of the humiliation of the First World War, an interlude of a short, troubled republic, national socialism arose, were on taking revenge and achieving Lebanon's realm, colonial territories in the east. The Third Reich crushed the Allies and the Soviets in battle. Germany proclaimed the New World Order and the, and, 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 and as they set foot on the moon was believed in eternal death, the fear, however, led the death of the fear, however, led to a crisis as his successor Albert Speer would challenge rise opponents within the NSDAP, leading to the months of war and violence to stabilize some Germany's fear. The Reich's economy, relying on slave labor, would have collapsed. Um, the, the, in Germans fallen ever more in destruction as it would were not for Spears reforms, although highly controversial among the more conservative party members, they were successful in creating immense economic growth, restoring the Reich's power and ending its in, in institution of slavery, which would become a heavy burden on prosperity. His policies dubbed the new German National Socialism were contested and even resulted in uprising from both from more conservative and liberal sides, but ultimately prevailed. However, the iron grip of the party was to say advocates for the further and even democratic reforms such as Helmut Schmidt were exiled or arrested, while the more traditional Hitlerite party uh, wing declined, uh, as many of its leaders were suspected of treason. Fuhrer Speer succeeded Hans Spiedel and the Speer's son, son Albert Speer, Friedrich Speer, both attempting more radical pro-democracy reforms. However, Albert Friedrich Speer's efforts were for nothing the Reich's failure to defend Moscow in the Second West Russian War against the now-restored Soviet Union to a coup within the party, headed by Martin, Martin Muskibu. I don't know how to say that name. I'm sorry, very sorry. Speer was reduced to a little more than a puppet with Muskibu and his, and his loyalists and control most of the government, ensuring Germany would not stray from his father's past. But Speer had not given up. Many within the party support him, and the battle for influence began in the capital of Germania. Musuma also faces opposition for reaction and resurgence from the NSDAP as Descartes had undue undo Speer's reforms, returning to the ways of Hitler. In the shadows lurks in the demons of Hitler and his SS, the most radical forms of them, 
of them at all. Although Heinrich Himmler's rogue state has been destroyed, an insurgency by a fanatical SS member still haunts the Burgundian occupation zone. And rumors suggest that Himmlerite terror cells are spreading out through the Europe Pact. Europe Pact. Currently, Germany stands on top of the world again. Its economy is even above that of the United States, and its military, although defeated in the West Russian War, is still possibly the most powerful on Earth. On the surface, Germany appears calm, confident, and society satisfied, but soon cracks may begin to show up on the surface. Features maneuver the massive entity of the NSDP and its factions, starting to expand reform in the Euro Pact, lead the Reich into the 21st century, increase its wealth, and secure its interest abroad. Next page. Um, damn, this is massive. Absolutely massive. I think we might have read this, uh, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we've definitely read this. Um, yeah, so I'm probably not going to read that again. Fernand Schoner and Vorwärts. Um, definitely. Let's get region info. Um, mod features. Anyway, we're going to do this. Um, great. The NSDAP. Let's select the core. I have no idea how any of this works. I'm very sorry. Um, um, Euro Pack GUI. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, that is beautiful right there. Um, um, hmm. Um, Switzerland or let's go Switzerland. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna click anything there. I'm just gonna do the first focus tree. Uh, don't love this background, I'm going to be honest with you. Reign of the Eagle. The greater German Reich reigns over Europe nearly uncontested. Our glorious nations lived through times of turbulence and civil war, the near collapse of the Reich threats, the, the, the oil crisis and the Burgundian refugee crisis. The immortal ideology of a pure Aryan man lives on to the next century and millennium under the leadership of Albert Speer. He truly rose to great heights and the German Eagle reigns watching over its subjects firmly and kindly. Um... I love this. I love the GUI. I was going to be honest with you. I love the GUI. The GUI is absolutely beautiful. Who leaves America? Dick Cheney. Good old Dick. Um, another Dick in the White House. Um, so they have a not really well put together. They, you can see what the focus is going to look like. But um, I'm definitely looking forward to playing them quite a lot. They look to be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to playing them at some point in the future. Unfortunately, that's not now. Um... Who leads China? Um, China doesn't have a focus, which is sad. Japan, which is just no one leads. So some random guy, liberal democracy, that guy. Where are the factions? Organization of Free Nations. Um, colon conservative part. Interesting. Um, who leads the United Kingdom? Um, oh, Queen Elizabeth II. You know she's just you know rolling on in to that you know leadership, baby. Um, or the so the factions are not you know. Iberian Union still exists. Organization of Free Nations definitely looks to be the strongest at this point. Unfortunately, we lost Moscow, as you can see clearly. Oh, uh, they have a they have a focus through, which doesn't do very much, but you can certainly see where things are going. I'm, I definitely love this mod already. Unfortunately, I don't know why that button does nothing there. Reign of the Eagle. Anyway, let's get started. Oh, factories. We want to do some factories. Uh, let's just go support equipment. Um. And, oh, do we not have guns? Look at that, we have guns, okay. Guns, planes, um, let's just get a bunch of those, and a bunch of those, and a bunch of those. There we go. I don't really care about getting it all done, since this is just really, or, this is just a demo, so I don't think we have too much to worry about at the moment, at the very least. Um, the Coalition, the Nationale, uh, interesting. I love this, though, I love this little thing, it's beautiful. Um, where we're processing Reign of the Eagle. I, this, I love this mod already. I mean, it's absolutely just... I love the modern setting of TNO. I mean, I just... I love, of course, the modern era a lot. Uh, a satisfied people, a harmonious party into the digital age, Europe united, uh, introduce, introduce the euro mark, let's do that. The G European economy with its massive connection to Germany is sometimes over en encumbered by different currencies used in foreign nations. To remedy a situation, economists and politicians create a new solution, the euro mark. The euro mark will be Europe's one currency and will do away with other currencies in the euro pact. 
With our allies sharing a single currency, the euro mark will be a stable, valuable unit to help us tie European economies even closer together. This buying power will inevitably make the European economy soar even higher. Um, so America's led by RD. The RDs are still kicking. MPP. That's cool. Yawk eyes are still around. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Legacy of Harrington, Hedge Money and Waiting, um, Throne of Action Gain, um, Dot Com Boom. That's good. Um, so they certainly, it certainly loves to keep some of the same mechanics. I don't know how interest rates in this works exactly, um, of course. But this is very uh, lovely. I love this. Um, love. I just love the backgrounds and everything. It's just absolutely beautiful. Introduced the euro mark, um, a new so we can endless prosperity. Let's go with the new works for older. The German economy at the dawn of the new millennium is one of upswing. Investments have finally picked up with the collapse of the hate feared black state. The, the markets of Europe have been repaired and set the new heights. Men no longer worry about money all across Europe. That's beautiful. Uh, no one leaves that area, I guess. Crossing the border, they ride by so fast. As much since Kurt had been to Poland, the time flies by so fast. Indeed, it does. Um, I guess my boy Janos, you know, my boy Janos. I guess we can invite him if I would camp. That's interesting. We could theoretically, though, if he wasn't already in our faction. The Burgunder, the shadow of Organsat lives on. Indeed, I guess, indeed, it does. Um,. Hmm. A new so this will be completed and this will give us hopefully um now we can finally do endless prosperity. Our our sphere of seniors greatest deed the year of German people is to possibly reform that shattered our economy. The old system was inefficient, dominated by large monopolies with foreign unpaid labor taking away German jobs and German productivity. After decades of work, Germany's economic power is equal to the Americas and our might might even rise to even greater heights with a free European market with a stable currency. Um, and with our goods being exported all across the globe, a bright future lies ahead. Some may say that our economy is not built on solid pillars, but that prosperity we brought is even charade. You know that we are living the standard of the average. Germany has barely increased in the last decade, but we live, but we stand above these lies. The national social system is envisioned by a grand architect has truly triumphed. Yes, it has. I, I just love the GUI. It's absolutely hard power. Um, economic and military power, the factual power, one people, one nation, one leader. Uh, now we can finally do stuff here, I guess. Um, um, so I don't have the political power to do this. Um, we can centralize the party. Um, um, might want to decentralize it actually. Um, let's decentralize the party. I don't know how it's going to help us, but we can let's just decentralize the party. Sure. Um, endless prosperity into the digital age. Um, Europe United, what would that do? Europe continent stands as a brilliant, entirely united behind a Reich. Our allies in Ireland and Friendland are members of the Euro Pack, and those nations German goods stand on shelves from German magazines translating the Gaelic, French, and Danish and other languages. And the German foods, Bavarian sausages, or desserts like strudel, investors across the European invest in Munich, stock market and buying companies like BMW and IG Farben. Um, this will give us unlimited power, which will be helpful. Um, or not, won't give us unlimited power, but you know what I'm saying. Um, thousand years more. Once we're done with this focus through, I'm probably going to end the episode there. Um, 
But yeah. Um, into the digital age. A harmonious party. Are Europe United? Let's do that. I don't love this background. Per se, I'm not like not my favorite background. Oh, Republic of India by that guy. Conservative democracy is doing really well. I must say, conservative democracy is doing really well. Um, China has become a certain massive power. I'm gonna say that Israeli recognition of the KDN. Um, Hamburg is against the vote to recognition of Israel as a full KDN parliament. Um, Israel. So that's like, Israel. It's kind of cool. Recognizes Israel as a KDN member. Um, the party leadership comes from a reformist. Uh, you know what? Um, we could. You know what? We can. You no, know, let's do it. We're gonna lose political power, but you know, let's 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 recognize them. You know, we love the Jews now. Um, you know, we're, you know, Mr. Albert Friedrich Speer, great guy, wonderful guy. Um, unlimited power. Um, uh, is recognized by the KDN. Interesting. Um, after a majority vote, the coalition the Parliament Parma is those more granted full membership of the Acadia and no longer being just some observer. Um, this development is a difficult victory and greatly improved their standing in the international community. Yeah, you know, Israel, we support you guys. We're like, we're going to be better than America. You know, you guys are going to love us in Israel, okay? You guys are going to love us. Um, um, the quiz, Strasbourg, of course, right next, they're right next to Burgundy. Um, Oh, I don't know why I clicked. Uh, hopefully nothing. Unlimited power. Uh, harmonious party. That gives political power. Um, more support will give us. Um, um, hmm. Harmonious party, and um, will live on a new millennium. I wonder who's gonna win the election in America? That's my real question. Um, a harmonious party, a satisfied people. Um, I could do some research. Oh, it goes all the way. Yeah, it only goes up to 1990. So I guess they haven't done much with that, unfortunately. Um. But I guess this is a beautiful mod, I must say. Sri Lanka has defeated Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's not doing too well, I guess. Um, normal eating. What's going on over there? Um, on each year, the public holiday of Albert Speer, senior staff, the main event in German television took place at the Germania show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the social cameraman of Volk Show, today's biggest party organization in Germania itself, illustrious before some Ryan Hard. Some things behind a glass wall revealing the skyline of Germania seem to get it's basically R911. Um, I'm guessing. And with that, uh, R911, um, our, our guest 14th of April. Anyway, this is where we're going to end today's episode. I love you all, and I hope to see you all next time. Good bye. 10, 18, 14, we took a little trip along with Colonel Jackson down to mighty Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we caught the bloody British in a town.